And now the final section of this talk is all about coping with nerves and to avoid panicking, uh, as someone said that they do earlier. And I'm going to talk about two different areas of this, both coping with nerves before the presentation and what I recommend doing in the hour before the presentation and when you're in the presentation itself. So the first thing that I'm going to ask to you is if you're in a presentation room and you're starting to feel nervous, what do you do to help you cope? Uh, so feel free to put those in the chat now. So has anything come through so far, David? Relax, breathe. Yep, both really important things. I think Take a minute to clear your throat, look down for a second, breathe and then carry on. Hold something, that's an interesting one, and channel nervous energy into that. Yeah, I'd say that they're all really good advice, so thank you for those. So, first of all, I'm going to talk, so everything that you've all said, by the way, definitely things that I'd recommend doing in the presentation room. But the three things I'm going to talk about before are things that I would do beforehand. And actually, the advice that we had earlier about react, relax, I think, kicks into that quite a bit. So, in the hour before the presentation, I would always try and focus on different things. Um, it, um, unless your PowerPoint isn't ready and you're making it in the last minute, which I wouldn't recommend doing anyways, but if you are making it in the last minute, do spend the hour before it, continuing to make it and don't relax. But if you have made it and you are all organised, in the hour before the presentation, chill. Don't do things that are relevant. So today, um, I had to battle that temptation, uh, but I ended up talking about... I just sat, listened to music, and ended up talking about presentations before the class started, and was doing other things in the past, in the hour before the presentation, because that way you can help undo some of the roboticness if you just continually practice it all over again, and it makes the run feel fresh because you haven't done it for an hour, at least an hour. I would practice beforehand, but in the hour beforehand, I wouldn't. So as I said, I listened to music, uh, it, before some presentations, I would listen to the, the background music or theme songs of like films. Uh, but now I just listen to chill music that's like lo-fi music, especially before presentations like this. Uh, in the hour before the presentation, do make sure to have a drink because the worst thing in the world is when you're thirsty during a presentation. And during the presentation as well, have a drink as well if it's a long one. So I've had a drink in the middle of this one, I actually built it into the talking. And I had a drink when, whenever David's been doing the chat summaries. Um, and do make sure to go to the toilet as well, because that can help you with nerves. Something that can really help is just getting everything that you need ready. So if you know that you only need paper or a pen, take it with you. If you know that you need to, um, if you're worrying, oh, is my mic and camera going to work? Make sure, practice and make sure that they work an hour beforehand. And that way you can start to relax and calm down because everything that could go wrong in terms of equipment or so on, You've already sorted it, sorted it and got it on you beforehand. And often, actually, just going back to that point, uh, I would actually also recommend if you are driving to the presentation, get there early because that way you aren't going to be worried about traffic and so on. So I would often get there half an hour to an hour early. Uh, same goes for interviews as well if you ever go to an interview. So during the presentation, so how can we manage nerves during the presentation? Well, some of you, I think, said this as well, which is, before you start, take a deep breath. So what I would recommend doing is filling your lungs with oxygen and then speaking and saying a sentence, releasing it all, and then regulating from there. I will be honest with you all, by the way, I do get nervous before presentations. Uh, and I was probably nervous before this one as well. And taking a deep breath can really help to get you into it because as soon as you're into the presentation you're okay use the deep breath that you've taken to try and self-regulate your speed so at the start of the presentation continue to think to yourself slow down slow down and trying to keep it slow because it can be very easy when you're nervous to talk very quickly and want to get it over with but that's not going to help your markers and the people who are watching the presentation enjoy it so I'd recommend trying to slow down, speak clearly, and make sure you have time for everything. Something, so I always used to fiddle, and I still like to fiddle. So if I'm doing a presentation in person, when I do have to stand up, which I'm sat down at the moment, and for all presentations that you're doing at the moment, I think, unless you're asked to, 
sit down unless you want to stand up. Uh, I always used to put one hand behind my back and I'd use that hand to channel my nervous fidgeting energy into it. Um, so I'd often put blue tack in it. And so if you do need to fidget with something, no one can see that you're fidgeting if your hand's behind your back. And that is a way that I used to get around that. Um, however, if you are sat down, do remove anything that you may fiddle with. Like I said, I, when I'm nervous, unconsciously fiddle with things. I actually caught myself doing it during this presentation. I think I was holding a pen for the first 30 or 40 minutes. Um, so remove them from arm's reach so that you can't fiddle with them. Especially if people can see you, because then it looks odd. <laughs> Um, and the final piece of advice I have in terms of nerves is just keep going. If you do feel nervous about what you're saying, if you, as long as you keep going, those nerves will go. And as soon as you're in the flow of the presentation, it's OK. So if you are feeling nervous, just try starting. And as soon as you start, just try to keep going. Focus on slowing yourself down and keeping going. Because it's really easy once you've got in the flow. The hardest part is the start. But as soon as you're through that, it's fine. So today, I felt nervous right at the start, but as soon as I was in the zone and talking, it was fine.